Hey guys, Daniel here for I'm from Gawler again and we're outside the uh, Gawler Cinema as you can see. As you guys have probably heard, Gawler Cinema is actually uh, changing ownership now. And I thought we'd catch up today with John and, and Joy from the Gawler Cinema and have a quick chat to them. This end of town has always held us lots of memories for me because not only did I used to work here at the Gawler Cinema, but I also used to live here at this house. So a lot of fun times, a lot of memories with friends and having a, my, one of my first big boy jobs. So. Looking forward to catching up with John. Well, I used to have the first video shop up the main street in Gawler and it was raining one day and I could hear this drip, drip, drip and I lifted a tile up in the ceiling and I had no idea I was in the original Gawler cinema. The, the, oh, the, that's the ozone yeah, the, the on the ozone, corner, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and I looked up in the, to the roof and there was this beautiful ornate ceiling and you could see where the balconies had gone down the side from upstairs. And, and I thought, what a wonderful idea to have a cinema and a video shop, you know. And um, when, years later, I got approached by an English lord who said, if I built you a purpose-built video shop down the southern end of town, would you come down there and lift the, the, uh, this area up for me? And I said, well, how about building me a cinema as well, as we haven't had a cinema in Gawler for 27 years. And he went, what a good idea. So that's how we got the Gawler Cinema. I think 89, we started uh, building the, the cinema, yeah, um, and then we had cinema one first, uh, then a year later we started on cinema two. And so, what used to be here instead of the cinema? Well, f as I remember it, uh, it was an old house, uh, which is still there in the middle. This, this was uh, the, the driveway. That's, that's still the square for the garage, sitting there. That's, that's the driveway leading up to the garage. This is the original old house that's still there, even though you can't see it. This was the, uh, the garden with all the roses, roses yeah? in. Original front door, up the top of the steps here, and that's the original hallway where, where the toilets are now, is, was their lounge, dining room and bedrooms. So as a house, people would walk straight in? And up the front, up the in the front door? The front door. Yeah. yeah. That whole house is behind, oh, a lot of it is behind. It's, it's all there. It's behind all there. this, yeah. yeah. We had to cut into it um, and just re re remodel the, the whole foyer. We had um, Becky Cole come here and sing uh, when the, the, the first country music show came to Gawler and, uh, and she was absolutely amazing and that's before she got famous. Mm. Um, Bob Francis has been here and uh, had a talk to our seniors. Now we had the original Red Dog came here with his owner uh, yeah. and sat and watched his own film <laughs> yeah, on a seat. Smokey Dawson came here with his wife Dot uh, and watched a movie. Uh, so we've had a few celebrities come yeah. through the place. Yeah. Yeah. There's one question that people have always been asking since we found out that Wallace Group are taking over. What can you tell us about the Muppets in Cinema One? I, I asked for that to be built when we were doing Cinema One. And I asked, that I just wanted something that would put a smile on everybody's face as they came in the door. In the early days, I used to stand on the door welcoming people and tearing tickets. And they used to say, can we sit anywhere we want? And I used to say, yes, except the balcony. <laughs> Have you got a balcony? And then I'd hear them walk in and just look up and burst out laughing. So it was always put there as a, just to put a smile on people's faces. Yeah. But it's almost an icon of uh, the cinema now because all the little kids that came years and years ago that are now parents and got their own children all talk about the Muppets up in the, in the, the balcony. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know if they'll be going anywhere anytime soon? No, I took, gonna stay? I, I took them down a few years ago <laughs> okay, uh, dust to um, dust them off and I put them in the front row of the seats and <laughs> Joy came walking in while, uh, while I was doing some renovations and she went, John, there's two people sitting down in the front row and I went, Joy, they're the Muppets, so I took them down to dust them off. <laughs> and it's amazing because mo uh, most people think they used to talk and they never did. In the old days uh, with the Saturday morning kids club, yeah, the reason the Muppets were up there is because you have Kermit the Frog sitting on a stage on a log. Oh, did you? Yeah. And, yeah. um, and we used to have the, the, uh, the, the Kermit theme song. That was the start of the Saturday Morning Kids Club show. The Wallace Group are taking over and you've been affiliated with them for, for the whole life for of the, the cinema. Whole, for the very first day, I spoke to a really good friend of mine who's just passed away, Bob Parr. Uh, I said, I want to build a cinema. And he went, how many screens? And I said, one. He went, not interested. I went, well, how many have I got to build? He said, two. And I said, well, why would I want to have two screens if I'm going to have trouble filling one up? Why would I want two? And he went, John, it's the product. You need two screens to get extra films. And so then we went ahead and built uh, a twin, the twin cinema. 
but I am the longest person he's ever uh, programmed films for in the whole of Australia for, for Wallace Theatres. What was the first movie you guys played? The first played? film was Dances with Wolves. And the last movie you were going to play? The, I always promised if I was alive long enough and or was able to sell one day, my last film would be Dances with Wolves. Excellent. They don't want to change anything of the theme of the theatre. They like it and that's why they fell in love with Excellent. it. They are community minded but they want to retain the community spirit that we've put into this place here all over yeah. for all these years. Gawler Cinema is here to stay? Oh yes, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure of that. I, I had options from developers and I said no and I always wanted it to be a, a retain, remain a cinema um, but I think the beauty of with Wallace is um, that you may see an extra two or three screens in the mm. near future so that's it's a win-win-win for Gawler all, Fantastic. all around. Yeah. So we're happy and they're happy.